Diablo 3 has become the third best-selling PC game ever. Uh, that's according to, to Wikipedia. I don't, I don't know how much I can trust the numbers for it, but that sounds about right. This was a huge sensation uh, when it first uh, was released. Oh, sweet level 20. That's probably a big one. Uh, we get another path passive skill slot. And, oh, now we get Whirlwind. Very, very nice. And another passive skill, Inspiring Presence. We'll see how I feel about using that. Another passive skill, Berserker Rage. I believe that's the one that I want to go for. All right, then, then I'll talk more numbers, because I know how much you guys love numbers. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is the one that I like. Unless there is another one. Mm. Yeah, I think Berserker Rage is what I like. And then I just don't. Uh, you know, I, I usually keep the Fury up maximum anyway. And then I am actually going to switch over to Whirlwind. Uh, I, I like Whirlwind. And it's pretty obvious why I do. Do I have enough to do it? No, I don't have enough to do it. Alright, let's get in here, get me some more Fury by killing these guys. And then I'll show fear, I'll, I'll show Whirlwind off on bases or something like that. You actually get an achievement for using it on bases enough. I think it's like 2,000 objects. Uh, if you destroy that with Whirlwind, you get an achievement. Alright, go Whirlwind! Like I said, look at that, and look how little fury it consumes, really, when I'm going through it. It is fantastic. I love it. Okay, so, Diablo 3. <laughs> I will get through this, I swear. Diablo 3's third best-selling PC game of all time. Uh, the estimates are now about 12 million copies. That is... Like I said, third best all time. And, well, the first two are The Sims and The Sims 2. Actually, The Sims 2 is the best-selling PC game of all time. I, I don't know. I, I, probably because it reaches a market that other games didn't reach. Uh, but this is the third best-selling game of all time, which means a lot more than Diablo 2, which sold 4 million copies total. Like I said before, the estimates for the first 24 hours were 3 to 4 million people. So I don't think Blizzard anticipated just as many people that purchased Diablo 2 during its entire lifetime purchasing this game within the first 24 hours. <laughs> and that's probably why launch was so bad. Uh, but when it comes to, to reviews of the game, I, I, I read a lot of reviews of this game, and I have to say that it seems to me that a lot of people that did review this game did not play Diablo 2 or Diablo 1. Uh, they were saying things that I was kind of looking at them going, yeah, that's Diablo. You know, uh, I don't understand, it's all about the, the, the looting. And I'm like, yeah, it's all about the looting. <laughs> oh, Missive to Magda, part two. Magda. Such sad, sad tales have reached me that were truly abysmal failure to stop the enemy at the Cassine outpost. But at least the enemy's spy is being found. Once we eliminate her and her allies, this obnoxious little world will fall to me and perhaps you, if you survive. Apparently, the Wild does not have all the faith in Magda that her followers do, the cultists do. <laughs> but like I st oh. Another sunset, and Alcarnus is still safe from the sudden madness that plagues Chaldeo. Though we are seeing an influx of hooded pilgrims for some Zakarum holy day, the demons out there are keeping their distance. I will double the guard at the gate. We must not be unprepared if our luck turns. Like I said, uh, a lot of the reviews for this game I thought were a little harsh on the game, not from, you know, definitely from people that didn't understand what, you know, this game's history or its roots or anything like that. I, that was just the impression that I got from reading them. Oh! And I got a legendary item to drop here, a voodoo mask. And I think that is the first legendary item that I have gotten. Unfortunately, it's not for my character. Uh, let's go ahead and identify it. And we'll take a look 
at what it does. To be honest, it's worse than what I have. Well, I mean, it's got more stuff, but like one life per second, that's not really much. Uh, plus, it does more strength and more vitality. I don't even think witch doctors would like the plus to strength. I don't think they use it. Uh, couldn't equip it anyway. Which means that, unfortunately, I am going to scrap it for parts. I'm going to salvage it. I'm not even going to sell it in the auction house because this is my normal character and we don't do that. But uh, I'm not going to be doing that for this character like I had mentioned before. But if I were to sell it in the auction house, it would probably get me around 20,000 gold, give or take. It would sell for quite a bit. I'll, I'll have to check to see how much that get that one in particular is going for, but uh, I would assume that mine would be on the low end of that because it is mostly strength, and I know that they use intelligence instead of strength. So, like I said, the the reviews I thought were a little harsh on this game, undeservedly. What could drive the coven to such blind cruelty? And I think that's one of the reasons that the game has fallen off and has gotten quite the reputation as, like, the sign that Blizzard is on the downfall. Uh, the, I would say Blizzard is on the downfall a little bit, but I wouldn't say this, this game is necessarily, you know, the ultimate proof of it. That's just me. And uh, that's enough for now. I'll... Uh-oh. Lair of the Witch. We have to kill Magda. She's here. So it's no longer time to talk about reviews. It is time to talk about Magda butterfly ladies. In the flesh. Your illusions cannot protect you now. It matters not. While you hunted me, Belial's Imperial Guard captured your little witch, Leah. Soon her power shall be his. And it is boss time up against Magda, as you might imagine. No surprises there. Of course. No, no. Damn it. Kill these guys. These guys are going to, to mess you up if you let them. Ah! Yes, leader of the coven. We've already got her down to half. Okay. Oh, I waited just too long there. Uh, her little, like, bug ball. It hurts, but it doesn't hurt that much. It's not something you really need to be concerned about. If I can stun her, there we go. Then I can use Whirlwind and we can start really taking away some of her health. No, 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 no. Q. There we go. Health returned. <laughs> I, I really should upgrade the potions. Did you see how little that healed me? The coven is undone. Rest easy, Decker Kane. She was consumed by shadow. It pains me to see it. And we have quite a few things here. First, we have Lower, though. When I joined the Coven, it was weak and idle. The leaders were content to do nothing while the prime evils were imprisoned. I convinced another witch to help me poison them, and together we took control. She left. Some years later, but I continued bringing the coven to glory under Lord Belial. So there's another witch out there uh, that helped her. Interesting. We did get a couple good items here, a couple co good belts, including a, well, we also got a chipped emerald, which is very nice. Our first gem of the game. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on, even though that 1.4% damage dealt. Converted to life. That is pretty freaking sweet. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to go for this one. I don't know. It's a tough call, though. It's a tough call. No, I'm, I'm going to go for this one. There we go. And now we can start healing slowly over time. And we have defeated Magda. But she has told us that Belial has gotten Leah while we were away looking for Magda. So there's only one thing to do, and that's to return to the hidden camp after I just double-checked that there wasn't anything else that dropped. There wasn't. Let's use the town portal and head back to the hidden camp and see what's going on with Leah. <laughs> Damn it, Leah, I was going to protect you. In her final desperate moments, Magda swore that the demon lord Belial would soon rule our world. 
I am all that stands between him and the end of mankind. So then we must kill Belial. That's the only thing left. Tyrael, what's going on? Methods today. Please look, you won't be disappointed. You never have anything I want, Squirt. Before I killed her, Magda told me that the Imperial Guard had captured Leah. But at the Cassim outpost, the guards revealed themselves to be serpent demons of Belial. Then they must be holding the Emperor against his will. I tremble to think what Belial might do with Leah and her growing power. The only chance we have to rescue Leah is to wrest the Emperor from the grasp of the Imperial Guard. Ashira of the Iron Wolves can get us to the Emperor. I will speak with her. So now we need to speak with Ashira. If you're wondering what this town portal is, by the way, the one that was there before, uh, w now it used to be that when you left the game and, re and came back in, uh, they would just spawn you right at the last checkpoint, but now I believe they they spawn you back in town with a town portal to your last checkpoint. Tyrael has more to say though, so, oh shit, we haven't talked to him at all. We've got some stuff to talk about with Tyrael. How did your fall raise the dead? You were an angel. Not just any angel. I was the Archangel of Justice. My fall awoke the vengeful dead who were slain unjustly during Diablo's reign of terror. There was nothing I could do. As my power left my body, I had absolutely no control over it. That is a good question, actually. Huh. I should probably pay attention to this kind of stuff more. Tell me about Chaldeum. Chaldeum is the greatest city in the world, the seat of the Empire of Kedjistan. I have heard it called the Jewel of the East. Its libraries overflow with undeciphered tomes of arcane knowledge. Its streets cover labyrinthine tunnels. It is a city of wonder and mystery. It's one of the stands, is it? Is it between Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan? Kazakhstan? I do not know how these refugees persevere. Their situation is dire, and it seems there is little hope for them. Where do they find the strength to carry on? Suffering is what makes us human. You suffer, but you go on. Mm. The human spirit never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, we suffer, but we bitch all the time about it. Tell me about corruption. Just plain old corruption, I guess. I feel Belial in the very air. I see his shadow behind haunted eyes. Hear his voice whispering lies on the wind. He need not bring an army to this city. It is his already. So apparently this place is very, very corrupt indeed. Looks like Hadrig wants to talk, talk to me about some stuff, and it looks like they want to talk to me about some stuff. I don't think Neck wants to talk to me about anything. But I am relatively full on all my items. Uh, just real quick, I want to show you what it looks like when you do salvage uh, one of the the split tusk, apparently. Y you can see that it doesn't really sell for that much, so really it's still probably better for you to salvage it. They do ask for all yellow and orange objects. Are you going to do it? You sure? Y you sure? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to use it. And it gives you three fallen tooths, so... Whatever level you're on, it'll give you three of the uh, yellow crafting materials. Uh, if you do it with the regular yellows, it will, once again, it'll ask. And then it'll give you a uh, subtle et essence and a guaranteed um, fall fallen tooth. Once again, whatever level you're on, we'll go over that some other time. So I'm going to finish uh, dealing with all of this. Uh, oh, and I found out the fast way to do it. Ah, that took me forever to figure out for whatever reason. Uh, so, and I'll talk to everybody, and I'll be right back. Okay, dealt with everything that I needed to. Well, I don't want to talk to him yet anyway. Uh, do have a new amulet, which is kind of nice. Uh, the other one just had plus nine life after each kill, so now I get more gold, because that's what I needed. Uh, but hey, it's an upgrade. I'll take what I can get. I also have new pants, 
Uh, now their their magic pants. Adventuring chain leggings of the bear. Lots of vitality and more experience. Uh, the enchantress now has my amulet because she didn't have one. <laughs> and here we can show the gems. Now, obviously this is my first gem. I can put it in my weapon to increase the critical hit damage by 10%. I can put it in my helm to get 5% extra gold for monsters, or I can put it anywhere else and get plus dexterity. I'm going to put it in my weapon. Now I'll have higher critical hit damage output. Very, very nice. Now I forgot to check if he had anything new for me, but eh, it's not going to be that important. Let's head into town, which is apparently where they want us to go. Uh, we need to talk to Ashira, head of the Iron Wolves. Hopefully, things are going Look swimmingly. The size of that barbarian. It is no wonder he was able to beat those damned cultists in Arcanus. I can't believe anyone could have survived that out there, let alone defeat those monsters. You're welcome. Know, but he did it. I'm just that awesome. And it's because I am this big. You know, I just noticed how is big he you? is. What I mean, happened? look at that. They came while I was sleeping. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We're moving on. How you doing? Uh, Ashira is here at the gates. Like like, like some commoner. You are a commoner, aren't you? Oh no, she's not. She's the one Captain I talked. Ravan, the condition. Ashira, the emperor and my friend are in grave danger. I must gain entry into the palace. I heard what you did at Kasim Outpost in Alcanus. You have my thanks, and you shall have my help, Captain Ravan. This man has vital information regarding the massacre in the Borderlands. We must see the Emperor at once. Very well. But I don't think you'll find him receptive. Let them pass! All we right. need to be within the safety of the city walls! So, into the city we go. Through these gates here. We need to talk to the Emperor. Let's go. I'll lead you to the palace. And now we're inside the palace. How you you are bold to have sought this audience with me. My guards tell me you were responsible for the massacre of innocent villagers in Alcarnus. Bullshit. Do not believe those lies. Alcarnus was the work of Magda and her coven, who served Belial. If you are innocent, then why do you have spies skulking through my sewers? Bring her in! Oh, they found Leah. She's a horrible spy. I know. Let me go! I detest violence. Gods, I leave this matter in your hands. What? There are demons here. Did she explode? I think she exploded. Oh, I also switched to uh, normal health potions. <laughs> Since the other ones weren't really doing anything for me, they heal uh, 550 total. I knew you'd come for me. There's my 1200. Let us for more guards arrive. 